Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel checking in. I got my relative Nick with me again. Today we're on a coyote hunt. Back where I harvested the coyote last year, I'll leave a link in the video description below. When uh, we get done setting, and we're able to talk a little bit more, we'll go through our guns and our systems and what we're using. Right now the wind's probably blowing, what, 30, 35, maybe yeah. even more. Yeah. So I don't know how successful we're going to be today, but I mean, we can't choose our days off. Unfortunately, I have day jobs, so it is what it is. We're out here in the woods, we're having fun, and we'll bring you whatever action that we deliver. Like I said at the intro, the wind is kicking up. There's gusts probably 40 miles an hour or more. So I don't know the effectiveness of the call at any distance, the way the wind's blowing. But uh, you know what? A bad day hunting is better than a good day at work. So what we're going to do is relocate the call and uh, sit on it a little bit more. Hopefully we'll get in an area where the wind isn't as bad as right here. We found an area that is like an old ranch setup section of the property. And about 70 to 75 yards out, near an old water pump, I put the call. Uh, the wind is not so blustery here. It's it's pretty bad today. I'll be surprised if we see anything at all. But uh, hey, we gotta give it a try. So we're gonna uh, post up here for a little bit and we'll report back later. So Nick's running a modified Marauder in a little bit. I'm gonna get him to talk about this air gun and everything that he's done to modify it. So about 70 two to 75 yards out. I got the call on the back side of that. So maybe we'll get some activity. Kind of an idea how our day's going. The wind's just blowing hard. We're sitting here. We had a lady with some dogs come up. I mean, it happens, but uh, We'll probably move to a more wind sheltered area and then we'll do a uh, gun talk. So this hunt may turn into a air gun talk video here real quick. Just picked up the call. The wind's blowing too hard. There's no way that any coyotes can be able to hear that more than maybe 40 yards away. The odds of that happening are pretty much zero so we're gonna walk around for a little bit never know you we might jump something if we get to an area that the wind's not too high we'll stop and do a breakdown on our air gun systems but you're gonna have days like this this is reality so we're just out enjoying the moment spending time together out here in the woods and uh having a good time Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me with uh, the wind blowing. We'll shoot, do the best that we can. I'm shooting a 25 caliber Eagle Claw lever action pre-charged pneumatic air rifle. And this is actually my first time out hunting uh, with this air gun. I uh, took some shots earlier at about 75 yards. I just shot some... Uh, dirt mound and I mean it's shooting really good I sighted it in last time I was out camping and uh, it seems to be holding zero really well I'm shooting uh, JSB uh, 35 grain I think Diabolos and uh, they seem to be working really well with this system right here I'll be doing a full review on this air gun Look for that in the coming months. I just need to get a little more time with it. Preferably, we'll be able to get on some uh, 
some target rich environment here real soon. All right, I have my relative Nick. He's no stranger to the channel. I, he's my air gun gunsmith guru and he has a modified Marauder. Nick, take it away, brother. Okay, what we have here is a 25 caliber Marauder. It's got a custom barrel in it that's 25 inches. It's a T and J. Uh, it's a 25 inch, one in 14 twist. And it's done by a Bill Greathouse. I also have a bottle with a Jefferson State Air Rifles adjustable regulator here. So I can adjust my pressure externally. Um, inside we got uh, a Cawthron valve, so I get good power in a twin spring. So I'm getting about 50 shots and I can adjust it. Right now I'm shooting about 56 foot pounds of energy with Grizzly slugs and some other slugs. And they're hole on hole at 50, 60, 70 plus yards. So we also got the Eagle Vision adjustable scope rings. I put this on a lot of guns because I like to shoot long range. And I've also got their GoPro set up here, uh, which I really like. Uh, something a little bit different than the Tacticam, which I usually run, but just like to explore different options. So, yeah. so, so explain a little bit about the scope rings and your philosophy of use behind that, if you could. So a couple of different philosophies. Some people will optically center their, their crosshairs. So they have the best optical quality, and then they will adjust their up and down with this rings. By loosening these two screws, you can pivot this. I can get another 140 minutes of angle out of this. What I do is I actually will take my turrets and move them down so I get as much clicks as possible. And then I will zero that at whatever yardage I want, 50 or 100 yards, so that just in my turrets, I can dial quite a bit and okay. get a lot of yardage of spot on. So what do you think the effective range for this system is? This system right here with this gun, the way it's set up right now, uh, shooting slugs that have got a really good BC, um, you could easily, I would say, coyote probably drop vital shot 100 yards, nice. ground squirrel 200, maybe even 300, depending on the conditions. Nice. So a lot of fun, very quiet, very effective and efficient too. So our game plan is later on this year to get out maybe back in this area because it's got some open fields to get some some long target uh, shooting out yeah, here, absolutely. hopefully. Yeah, we can shoot over 400 yards here easily. Cool, well thanks for sharing that, Nick. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Well, the wind's pretty high today. We're not gonna see any uh, animals. So we're gonna do like every good hunter does. We're gonna go out and have some lunch. Yeah. So we're gonna break off and I'm sorry that we weren't able to show you any action today, but we try to keep it real on the channel. Not like some shows that they may be on, you know, uh, a penned in area where animals have no option to move around. This is real world stuff. And uh, we try to convey that to you. So with that, I want to thank you for watching. This is Nick. Hi. You guys are going to see him more. We got some videos lined up for later on this year. Uh, with some custom builds and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, folks. See you then.